Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to go over Elementor templates. Um, so when you purchase Elementor Pro, what you get is actually a range of different templates that Elementor have already built for you that are already mobile responsive and you, all you need to do is add them and if you need to um, add uh, any more content or, or change the content that's there um, or change the colors and things like that. Um, so there's two different types of templates. You can either add a whole page template or you can add a sort of section template. So with a section template, um, you would already have the rest of your page done, but you realize you need something else and you're having trouble sort of designing it yourself um, and you want to add another small section. So for example, if you were to go to the templates tab here, so at the bottom of the page, you can see the, the template uh, here, this blue, this gray button, and you want to go into blocks. So these are essentially um, templates that are sort of like little sections and you can decide and they're separate into categories so for example there's a call to action section and essentially this is just a section where you can uh, add a final call to action for your client uh, for the customer essentially so they'll read a little bit and then either be encouraged to sign up to buy to go to another page thing something like that and you can go through all of these designs um, and see which one you like um, with this one, I wouldn't be put off too much by the colors because you can change the color. You really want to look at uh, this, the structure of it. Um, so do you like, for example, this one that this is just a simple form? Um, do you like that this has an image? Things like that because you can always change the uh, color and the content of it. Um, but you would kind of go through this if you wanted to add like an FAQ section and you can see th these are their FAQ sections that they've already built out. And all you would need to do is then is change the color or change the content. And things like that so they've already built out things for you um, and all you need to do then is just decide which one you want so for example if you wanted to add an FAQ section and you like this one you would just click into the section here and just click insert and you can see that this has been added uh, exactly where I wanted but I can always change and move around the sections um, whichever way I want um, so you can see it's actually taken the font and theme settings uh, from my global palette um, so I don't need to actually edit the font at all or the colors because it's taken it from a global palette already. All I need to do now is change the content. So I can just click into each widget here and change the content directly, like with the title, with the actual FAQs, I can change the content here. Um, so it's really easy if you decide if you are having trouble with designing certain elements, element to have a range of different uh, sections that you can sort of uh, insert into your page. and. Uh, edit for you to edit as well. The other type of template you can add with Elementor is a page template. So this is essentially a full page um, from top to bottom that Elementor has designed and they've developed um, and you can select between which one of them that you like. Um, so same thing again you want you want to do is go on to the page that you want so you want to start off with a blank page because it'll add essentially everything. Um, and then you want to click onto the templates tab again and you can see instead of blocks there's a pages tab and you can see essentially all the different types of pages that you have so you've got sort of like a home page wireframe then there's an about page there's a services page uh, there's pricing pages there's loads of different sort of um, and there's loads of different uh, essentially layouts that you can choose from um, Obviously, it's a little hard to see uh, in this section, but what you can do is you can click into the plus sign and you can see the full essentially layout that way. Um, and again, with this one, you don't want to think too much on the color or anything like the design of it because you can always change the design. I would look towards more um, structure. So do you like how this page is structured? Um, can you change the content? Things like that. Um, there is a search button as well so if you want to search say maybe if you're looking for specifically a pricing page it'll show all the pricing pages that they have um, if you wanted to look for an about wireframe they'll show you all the about pages that they have um, so it's really intuitive that way you can decide you can decide to choose between like uh, new uh, products or trending products or popular ones um, and you can also favorite certain templates so if you were to click on um, one of these here but you realize it's not good for this page but actually it might be good for another page you can favorite it and it'll show up in your favorites so that you can sort of decide that uh, when you actually are ready for it um, but essentially just like the blocks you would just select the price the um, you'd select the wireframe that you like and then just click insert and you can uh, choose if you want to use 
the settings of this specific design and layout um, or do you want to add your global settings to it these are things like the colors and things like that so you want to click uh, don't apply or you want to click apply if you do want to use their settings um, or you would click apply don't ap uh, don't apply if you want to use your own global settings so you can see that's being loaded up here and it's the essentially the exact same layout but it's using my set my global settings as well so I've got the text here I've got all these images and all I need to do now is click into each section and just change the content um, based on what it is uh, I want to add so you've got the testimonials all of that and it's all already just uh, responsive so if I had to check it on mobile um, it all works on mobile all I need to do is change the content so it's really handy if you're just unsure how to structure a page um, or if you're kind of running low on time and you just need to quickly um, add in a template um, they've got a range of different ones and it's just up to you to kind of decide which one that you want change the content change the color um, and also this con this uh, template isn't sort of set in stone. If there's a section within here that you don't like, um, you can always ex uh, delete it. You can always um, add sections as well if you want to add to it. Um, so this kind of gives you sort of a good starting off point. And then all you need to do is edit it to the way that you want.